Then risen from the ashes again into Colin Scotland, the man you are today. What advice have you got for any beginner coach out there who may be struggling to pay their bills, but still wants to put everything they have into growing their business? Don't give up. I think what we've just said about social media and content creation encapsulates this. It's if you haven't had success, just put the word yet on the end of that sentence, you know, and, and, and then refocus your energy on the stuff that's happening inside you that's driving you to do this. And it might be you, it might be physical, you know, you might need, it might be food on the table needs, it might be your family, it might be the people around you. It doesn't matter what that driving force is. Tap into it, reconnect to it. And you know, we everything's energy, right? And we're like we're like little radio, little radios. We can tune our radio in to that energy of oh, I can do this, right? I can I can make a difference. I can put myself out there. I can put what I know and love to be and know to be true. I can put that out there in faith, in trust, in hope. And I can continue to do that, even though right now I I don't feel like it. So you can decide how you show up. And I would just encourage you to continue to show up in that energy of inspiration of awesomeness that you know you can unleash on the world don't give up on that don't give up on that you know you've got to be practical i've been in a position where i couldn't pay my bills where i lost everything in the world literally everything i owned in the world right so i know what it's like not to be able to put food on the table you have to do what it what it takes i had three part-time jobs when my business went bust i was teaching jujitsu i was um, working as a tech in a school i was doing all kinds of, i was doing i was a part-time marketing manager for a, a jujitsu organization i was doing all kinds of stuff just to basically pay the bills no individual job paid the bills but i did what it takes and then when i was exhausted at the end of the day i would sit and start working on what my coaching practice looked like because that was where i felt called to to kind of move you know so don't give up